Jean Jouet, who is also known as Lady Day, was the Marquise of Dai during the Western Han Dynasty in ancient China. Her tomb was found 2,000 years after her death inside a hill named Mawangdui in China with hundreds of valuable artifacts and documents alongside her body. What surprised everyone, however, was how incredibly well-preserved her body was thousands of years after her death. Lady Day was found with all of her organs and blood vessels intact, there was also a small amount of type of blood found in her veins, and she still had hair and eyelashes. What surprised everyone the most was the mysterious liquid that her body was soaked in. It was mildly acidic and had some magnesium in it, and it was probably what helped to preserve her body. To this day scientists still don't know what kind of liquid it was. From September to March, every year, a thundercloud named Hector forms nearly every afternoon on the Tiwi Islands in Australia. Hector, also known as Hector the Convector, is known as one of the most consistent thunderstorms. It was named by a pilot during World War II and it still remains the center of many meteorological studies. Though many meteorologists have studied the interesting history of Hector, they have not come up with a valid explanation on why the thunderstorm keeps appearing. In 1518, a dancing plague struck Strasbourg, Alsace. Also known as the dance epidemic, this weird condition took over 400 people's bodies and made them dance without rest. Some of these people even died of heart attacks, exhaustion or strokes. It all started in July of 1518 when one woman named Mrs. Trophia started dancing uncontrollably in the middle of Strasbourg. She was later joined by 34 people and soon after the plague spread to around 400 people. At one point it would kill around 15 people a day. Doctors and authorities realized this was not caused by supernatural causes and claimed this epidemic was due to hot blood, but instead of treating the patients, doctors advised them to basically dance it out by building them a wooden stage. It is believed that the modern marathon runner would not be able to survive this type of intense workout. To this day scientists are not quite sure what caused this terrible epidemic, it might have been due to food poisoning caused by the toxic products of ergot fungi or it might have been a case of mass psychogenic illness. Despite numerous false claims about being close to finding Cleopatra's tomb, to this day nobody has any idea where one of the most iconic women in the history of humankind has been buried. It is believed that she was buried alongside her lover Antony since Octavian gave orders that her body should be buried with that of Antony in splendid and regal fashion. In fact, Cleopatra's tomb is not the only one that remains a mystery for archaeologists, such iconic historical figures like Mozart and Genghis Khan also rest in unknown locations. A small Inuit village in Canada was known by fur trappers who would pass through it occasionally. But in 1930, something weird happened, a fur trapper named Joe LaBelle entered the island's premises and didn't find a single person there. In fact, seven sled dogs were found dead from starvation in a grave that looked like it was man-made. A search was conducted to find the missing people, but not a single body was found. Vermeja is known as a phantom island that was seen on maps off the north coast of the Yucatan all the way until the 20th century. What's interesting about this island is that a search for it found nothing that could have been called an island. The research started when somebody pointed out that the island has no real boundaries and rights of oil in the Gulf of Mexico. Once authorities started looking for this piece of land, they found nothing but water, to this day nobody can explain whether or not the island ever existed. Known as the Oak Island Mystery is a theory that an island in Nova Scotia is hiding unbelievable treasures, but nobody is able to find them. The mystery started after stories about treasures being found on the island spread despite there being no real proof. Even though some hundred-year-old artifacts were, indeed, found on the island, there was nothing you could consider a major treasure among them. It could be just a myth, 
But legend has it that there is a curse that originates more than a century ago, and it claims that seven people have to die before the treasure can be found. Currently, there are six people who have passed away in the search of the treasure. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.